everybody. My name is Abu. I'm tech support specialist at uh, ProSoft Engineering. We are the makers of Media Tools Wipe. This is the Media Tools Wipe interface. Um, we have the different drive bays right over here. Uh, Media Tools Wipe can actually wipe 18 drives at a time. Today for our video, we're going to concentrate on driving. Uh, I mean, wiping one hard drive. Uh, we have chosen uh, this 8 gig hard drive and uh, as you can see with the interface if you click on it it minimizes the interface uh, this one gives you a detail view in this detail view you show the uh, starting LBA the, this is the viewing area of the LBA sectors this section right over here shows you the drive that was chosen uh, the model number uh, this is a media card so it shows generic storage device serial number of course this is a SD card so it doesn't have a serial number uh, the viewing area starting LBA sectors ending LBA if you wanted to edit that you could uh, format is hex dump um, after uh, reviewing all this this whole information is the same thing that is uh, duplicated over here this is your status window that tells you what is going on with the process right now uh, start and close buttons. Uh, these are some of these uh, other options available in Media Tools Wipe. Dynamic error skipping, verify after wipe, ignore write errors, ignore read errors, and ignore compare errors. Uh, the uh, you can create a log or a certificate. Um, you, it shows over here if you decide to show it. Uh, wipe method is shown. Uh, sectors per time frame. Uh, error skip size and fill pattern uh, if you have your own pattern that you want to use to wipe the drive you can load it from here um, also one important thing if you wanted to save your settings you choose this question mark on the help and go to settings uh, the other things that are available on this uh, help section is a whole media tools manual that is available right here and uh, we're going to choose the settings go in here and for our settings we have decided to use the drive lock feature drive lock allows you to lock out a drive that you do not want to be wiped or mistakenly wiped in our um, system right here we have locked out this Seagate one terabyte drive because that is a our boot drive that has the OS on it and uh, after you select the drive you hit OK and at this point then you can choose to save the settings once you hit save settings it asks you where you want to save the settings and it tells you where it actually saves the settings and those settings can be loaded afterwards by choose load settings we're gonna go ahead close this out and get out of that screen we're going to start the wipe method on this uh, 8 gigabyte drive. Um, press start to run wipe and we're going to press start. Okay, now it's asking you data on this drive will be lost. Are you sure? So after you are confident that you want to wipe it, you hit continue. And this starts the wipe method, uh, the wipe process. It gives you a status bar right over here and tells you if you have any errors. At this point, the start button changes to continue. Now it's changing to pause if you wanted to pause the process or cancel it out altogether. The hard drive light is flashing. That means the drive is being wiped presently. So this process is going to go on till it is finished. And of course, the progress will always be shown in the progress bar right over here if you wanted to view it. 